the first guru of Sikhs, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, taught the world about humanity, equality, and love. Taught everyone how, while still following their religion, to find happiness in their lives. But in spite of all this, the Turkish and Mughals always thought of themselves superior than any other kingdom in the world. They were looting our country ruthlessly and were forcing their religion on every caste. Scared of all the bloodshed, looting and conversion, the Kashmiri pundits looked to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji for help. To everyone's amazement, the eight-year-old Guru Sahib stood for the Kashmiri pundits and pleaded to his father, Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib, to fight against this injustice. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji fought for the rights of the Kashmiri pundits. He traveled to Delhi for this cause, but was brutally killed by the Mughals. The loot, the torture and injustice never stopped. As the young Guru Gobind Singh Ji grew up, he made a decision to stand up against injustice and to fight for one's rights. He took to spreading knowledge to the world with his writings and fight injustice with his sword. In Shri Anandpur Sahib, he created the Khalsa, the pure, the fearless, which shook the Mughal Empire from their slumber. He stood up for the truth, for people's rights, and their freedom to practice a religion of their choice. In the process, sacrificed everything he had, even his four sons. In this lovely and beautiful valley, the four sons played, laughed, and were brought up. The way they played and became young men in no time was a tale to tell for centuries together. you to let me sit on the white elephant and take me to the horse race he said my name too oh yes of course he said to take brother fatu sing thus too but what i remember quickly, quickly now, now.
Gulab Singh, you can get us down now. But your father hasn't asked me yet to bring you down. Mm. Mm. Mm, you ride very well. A Brahmin has come to ask for help. Guru Mother has called for your presence. <laughs> Grateful Lord, I went to a lot of people and asked them to help me out, but no one even tried to console me. We didn't even consummate our marriage, and that wretched Pathan abducted my newlywed wife. Please, I beg of you, help me, my Lord. Never has any person with a problem left this court without being attended to. As you wish, Guru Father. कार्तिका इकोंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद जिन सिर सोहन पट्टियां मांगी पाए सिंदूर से सिर काती मुनियन गल विच आवे तूर This is a phrase from Gurbani by Guru Nanak Dev Ji in which he explains about the killings by Babur that the newlywed brides were taken away from their husbands the ones who wore a beautiful gown for their weddings they were given the gift of grief with all this grief pinching in his own heart guru nanak asked babur even after doing all this are you not satisfied grandmother was babur such a cruel man did his people really hate him so much even the citizens of the ruler of delhi are very unhappy right now brother are you talking about aurangzeb yeah he's a very cruel person with a heart of stone and the actions of a cruel monster You seem to know a lot about the cruelty of monsters, but do remember the Guru Bani that your grandmother has taught you all these years. Guru Bani is eternal mother. You can never forget it. Yes, Guru mother, he is right. Aad Guru Namme, Jugaad Guru Namme, Sat Guru Namme, Sri Guru Deve Namme. Pate Singh and Zarwa Singh are learning well, Juju Singh. Are you learning Sanskrit and Farsi as well? Of course, mother. I can not only speak Sanskrit and Farsi, but I can read and write them. Guru mother, he can ride the horse very well now. I've seen it myself. Really? And in no time at all, I'm going to wield the sword that's going to shine amidst the battlefield. What are you thinking about, Guru mother? My child, before wielding the sword and stepping bravely into war, your brother looked very handsome and dashing, you remember? And I just hope you'll come to me before. Guru mother, I would obviously come to take your blessings before I go off to war, so at least you would see how I look. I wish that you come out as victorious as your brother in the war and shine just like him. How is your gutka going? Oh, Guru mother, they always indulge me in their conversations. <laughs> oh, grandma, can we? Yes, go. <laughs> Devki Das, Guru Father has ordered that if those people come to trouble your wife again, you should protect her yourself. I'm very grateful to your father that he sent you to help me and my wife. May the Khalsa keep protecting everyone in need. Juchar Singh is on a rampage today. He's not even letting anyone close to him. My little brother is evolving into a knight. Um, 
brother, could you let me start sword fighting too? Master also thinks, you know, that I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Junjar Singh is ready to train with swords. In fact, I already learned some of the moves with the sword on my own. You can try me, if you wish to. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Come, Mayor Singh. I myself would like to see what my little brother has to offer with his sword. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It was a fine move, brother. You blocked my first strike itself. <laughs> The first priority in a battle is not to strike down your enemy, but to save yourself from being struck. So you always, at every moment, have to keep your defense strong. Now I'm starting to think that I'm going to be able to make the enemy lose his sword in battle. Singh is ready now. Start his training with no delay whatsoever. But remember, brother, sword of a Singh only rises to defend, never to attack. Now you should learn the as quickly as you can. Only then I'll be given the chance. <laughs> Oh, brother, look at this. He bit on my hand. It really hurts. So why did you pull my ear then? Because you had to put your spices in my eye. Yes, brother. Just look. His eyes are gushing out a stream of water. Father Singh? Mm. Please forgive me, brother. Mm. But he should get punished for this, shouldn't he? <laughs> but he should also get a stream of water from his eyes by making him laugh out loud. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna talk to you now, do you hear? You took Jojo Singh's side and you didn't take my side. Oh, and how was that? You just believed him blindly and started tickling me. You didn't even try putting my spice tans into your eye to check if it hurts or not. Brother, Fata Singh is a clever little fellow. We must send him to Kashi to learn Sanskrit like the other young ones. Not at all, brother. I could never leave you and go away to Kashi. Okay, okay. Okay, so then you're going to have to spend your life serving the poor. Just like Bai Kaneya did. Brother, once you were about to tell me about Bai Kanaya and you never did. Tell me about that story. Uh. May I narrate, brother? Listen to me. Once upon a time, the Singh told Guru Father that Bai Kanaya serves water to the Turkish army men after the battle. So Bai Kanaya went forward and said, Guruji, your many men fight and kill the enemy. But then, by giving them water, I killed the animosity in them. Then Guru Father smiled and said, Kanaya, from now on, you should take medical aid with you as well. I would also like to become a saint soldier like my Guru Father. What happened, Gangu? I sent sugar and butter for the kids through you. And you brought it back untouched. What could I do, my lady? All your sons have locked themselves in the room and ordered me not to disturb them until dusk. Whenever the four of them get together, they forget about the rest of the world. Mataji, do you have any idea what they are up to this time? Tomorrow, all my grandchildren will sing together hymns in praise of that guru. That guru who brought enlightenment to this dark world. Vahe Guru! Vahe!
My grandchildren made my son moist his eyes with joy. I wish that this happiness will never get lost under any circumstance. But the happiness was soon lost. The Mughals forced people to convert to their religion, and the Khalsa clan set up by Guru Sahib used to rebel against it for this reason. People from different castes and religions were joining with Guru Sahib and were proud of it. Their increasing strength was making the Mughals troubled and worried. Subha Esarhand, Wazir Khan, due to this, was sweating in the month of winter. He could not find any way which could ease his trouble. We have lost endless battles with the Guru in the sinks. We should call for a hundred thousand men from Delhi and finish them off. Isn't there a way where we can win this war, but not have to go to war? By the death of just one, the council would lose all its motivation. I understand, my lord. But who would be able to slay the Guru? The most ruthless and powerful general of the Mughal Empire. And they can't. asked for permission from his soldiers. Mm. Mm. Get ready to lose, Gobin! Never makes the first move. You have started this, Spender Khan. How could I make the first move? No! You have to make the first move! To that he replied, If I make the first move, then you might not get a chance to make any moves at all. Then save yourself now! Look, my lord, Tina, 
Hindekan has aimed his arrows towards the Kal Sakuru and is ready to break his bones. aiming his arrow, Durusai spoke to his god. You are here and there. You are everywhere in the world. Hey, Almighty, you reside in all of humanity. But he whom my arrow wants to pierce has only but arrogance residing in him. Durusai said, ask for mercy from your god, Penda Khan. I am covered from head to toe in my armor. So where is he going to aim his arrow? The death of Ender Khan was a shock to the Wazir. And then he played his next move. Wazir Khan has sent a proposal that we side with him in order to weaken Guru Gobind Singh's power. We should not take the side of that cruel Wazir, especially against Guru Gobind Singh. Hmm. We have brutally lost all of the battles we fought with Guru Gobind. And in spite of that, he has never even taken over a single piece of land from your kingdom. I am sure there must be a trap he is setting. You are right. And this is a troubled Wazir Khan who has sent a proposal. We would agree to whatever you decide, King Ajmar Chand. The kings of the mountain and the Mughals formed an alliance and attacked the fort of Anantpur. The war started after about six months when winter passed by. A deadly disease struck the army of the Mughals. And because of this, the Mughals and the kings of the mountain started to lose their wealth over this war. The soldiers started rebelling against their kings, and similar was the scenario inside the fort. After the long six months, there was very little food left for the soldiers and residents. The famine spread to the extent that about a hundred Sikhs decided to leave Gurukhaed. Guru Gobind sent his mother to attend to these Sikhs. Your Guru has accepted your wish, blessed children. Look, you just have to write on this paper that you are no more his Sikh, and he is no more your Guru. We are ready to write. There is nothing here but famine, famine and death left here. And we have to leave the fort as soon as we can. If there is any other who wants to leave this clan forever, then he can leave with them right now. Out of the hundred who wanted to leave, only forty actually left. The conscience of the rest did not allow them to leave. Sipai Sirhad, some six. Hold on. Seems like they're fleeing away from the fort. Just let them go. I think you are right, sir. I wish that before our army loses all hope, their whole army should flee just like this. After one betrayal, a message from Wazir Khan finally reached Durusayed like a snake in the grass. In the message, Wazir Khan and all the kings of the mountain swore to their respective gods that if Durusayed leaves the fort, they would never trouble him again. They can go wherever they wish to, and Durusayed, done reading this letter, was advised by some of his soldiers to accept this offer, and with that, Guru Sahib emptied the Anandpur fort and left. Zorawar Singh, Fatah Singh, hurry up. Guru Mother is waiting for you. 
brother Ajit Singh, we want to stay with you. You should stay with Guru Mother and Grandmother, and you should protect them. Then you should come with us too. All of us will protect them together. No, little brother. We should move behind the last soldier to ensure that everyone is safe. So now we should meet, wherever we set our camp. And if you don't turn up? Wherever you go, brother, we will both always follow you. Okay, no problem. Let's go now. Brother, I feel like hugging you tight right now. Yes, me too. have swiftly emptied the fort for us. What am I going to do with the damned fort? All I want is Gobind Singh to be out of his fort and to kill him victoriously. Well, then he is out of the fort. What on earth are you waiting for? We cannot do this, sir. We have sworn on our respective gods that we would leave him. We swore? <laughs> Mark my words, the moment they cross the border of Kenatur, we'll strike them from the back. I want him killed, and all his Sikhs with him as well. Singh. We are in hundreds, and they are in thousands. Look at that valley over there. There's no way thousands of men will succeed in passing it in one go. My dear fellow men, it's just before daybreak. Guru Sahib has said that we should recite the hymns from Asa Divar. <laughs> Good soldiers are coming this way. These two brothers should not be here. Ajit Singh, I think that the enemy could take another route and attack our fellowmen by the river. We should go and check what's going on. You go ahead, and I will follow you. Drop that rock under the passage to narrow it. Where are we going? To the base of Sears to check if all is safe. Hey Guru Ji ka Khalsa, why hey Guru Ji ki Fate? By day of Singh Ji, we have left more than half our Singhs. Huh. You have the women and children with you, and the waters of the Sears are rising. You should start crossing the river and take Ajit Singh with you. Ajit Singh, he didn't turn up. I have to get him out of that war. <laughs> towards the riverbanks. Sam Singh Ji, we've been 
By Mani Singji, I think we should head towards Delhi now. I will go check once again. Maybe I can find someone. Brother Aji, if there's someone else. We shouldn't stay here for long, Mataji. We should leave this place immediately. Come on, kids. Gangu is right. As God wishes, so be it. Oh. must have waited for us, but sensing the terrible danger, they left for Delhi, as we decided earlier. We've been asked to head towards Burmajra via Kotla Nihang. Had the waters of the Sirsao River remained calm that day, history would have been different. Guru Sahib's family got separated. His mother walked with Gangu to his village Keri. Guru Sahib camped in the mud fort of Chaudhary Budu Chand, from where he had earlier fought a battle too. This fort is at a good height, and it has four gates. It will be impossible for the enemy to attack from these three steep gates. It is only this main gate which we need to watch over here. There are bushes and small mounds outside this gate, so make sure that you remember that. Though we should patrol and take guard on all the gates, but we need to guard this gate carefully. If the enemy strikes, this is where it's going to be. By Himat Singh Ji, our soldiers are guarding the four entrances to the mud fort, but our resources are limited. But our courage is unlimited. I'm pleased to hear that. Good, we picked up more weapons on our way here. Yes, you're right. Come on, let's go and meet Guru Father. Hmm. We'll need more weapons. <laughs> oh, Guru Father. We have placed soldiers all around the mud fort. Guru Sahib, as you have asked, the injured things are being given first aid. We will keep a close watch from this fort. The Mughal army can be here any time now. Ajit Singh Ji, we had almost forgotten about our lookout. People of Chamkur, listen carefully. This is a message from the king of our land and his governor, Wazir Khan. Listen carefully. 
The guru of Anandpur and his Singhs have taken refuge in the mud fort of Chamkur. The governor has warned all of you that any person who tries to help the guru or his Singhs alike shall be beheaded, so be warned. My child, I made these butter wheat crumbs especially for you. Where are you taking them? Mother, the guru of Anandpur and his Singhs have come to the mud fort. Everyone is taking something for them, so I decided to take this. No, my child, please don't do that. Who knows what trouble you will get us into. And why not? Why are you trying to scare the child? He is doing a noble deed. You go ahead. Dear. I'm leaving, grandmother. You're trying to make your child like those 40 coward Sikhs who left the guru in his fort. Do you know, when they went back home, what humiliation they faced from their families? Here, take these bangles and wear them. Sit and cook here. Give me your sword. This Guru Singh Yi will go and fight for him in the battlefield. But listen up. Uh, me again? One who can't be a Singh of the Guru cannot be a Singh of this Singh Yi. I am going to fight his foes on my own. Do you hear? Hey, you idiot. You offered your head to the Guru that was baptized by him to be a Singh to fight injustice. And you left him and ran back home. The body of you ran back to the comforts of your home? Mother Gudri's son was also as hungry as you. It seems you cowards were not worthy of living in the lion's den. When to be better being tough? Forgive me, Mother. The love for my own child has made me so weak. And I forgot what the principles we sing stand for. Before this warning, this warning call of the guard scares yet another mother like me. Listen carefully, listen carefully, people of Champur. Listen, listen very carefully, children as well. Oh dear God, please have mercy. Bag Singh Ji, hmm? look over there. Two kids in the cover of the bushes are coming towards our mud fort. Come on, let's take a look. Huh? <sighs> Who are you? We heard that the Guruji of Anandpur has come again to this mud fort, so I got some sweet wheat crumbs for him. And I got butter and sugar. But the Mughals have already warned all of the villagers not to help us. Tell me now, weren't you scared? If Guru Sahib doesn't fear the Mughals, then we don't fear them either. Singhji, please take their contribution and give it to Guru Father immediately. Sure. Who is that? Well, he is the Guru's younger son. Really? <laughs> Consider us as your younger brothers. Allow us to join your army too. Mm -hmm. Of coming here. This deed is no less than that of a true soldier. Bag Singh Ji, please take these two young soldiers and make sure they reach their houses safe and sound. Oh. Almost there, Mataji. It must be less than half a mile now. Look. Oh, there it is. Kuma! Hey, Kuma! What's troubling you, Juge Harsi? I was just missing our younger brothers. Why did the waters of the Sursa River have to rise today? It separated us. Don't you worry, little brother. 
Guru Mother and some Singhs are with them now. They probably have reached Delhi already. Gangu, be careful. Take the narrow pathway next to the river. It will lead you straight to your village. But isn't the bigger road a better way? It's shorter as well. But the risk is greater. The Mughal army patrols frequently on that road. Oh, Gangu, Kuma is absolutely right. So it's a difficult path, but all of us should be careful and safe. When will we be with our Guru father, Guru mother, and our brothers, Grandma? Listen, we have all gone very different ways in order to confuse the enemy, my dear little brother. The moment the area is secure, our brothers will come to fetch us. Right, Grandmother? I sincerely hope they are all safe and secure. <laughs> Man Singh Ji, what is the strength of Mughal soldiers? Approximately one million, sir. One million to fight us 42? Mughals surely are terrorized by the power of the Singhs. Well said, Jujar Singh. I always knew that you were intelligent, but now it appears that you, you also have a lot of wisdom to share with us. सवा लाख से एक लड़ाओ तभी गोविंद सिंह नाम कहाँ Let's go show them now how one Sikh fights with more than a hundred thousand alone. बोले सोनिया Listen up on me and you just told me. They're just a handful of things. I heard there were only 100. But their Jakara almost deafened my ears. I think there are more than that. Maybe more joined them. How many more? 100? 500? 1,000? And we are a million! I am going over to discuss this with Wazir Khan and his Marquis. You can leave. All I know is that... Not even one of them will live to see another day. Guru Sahib knew what was to come. How could he sleep that night as he thought of his sings? In deep thoughts, the Guru walked to where his sings were resting, just like a father would come to care for his sleeping children. He walked slowly, taking steps as softly as he could. He was touched by the unconditional love shown by them. He looked upon all of them, showering his blessings. These things were going to brace death as the day breaks. These cultures were going to be martyred in the battle soon. Engrossed watching his things as he moved further, he saw his two sons in deep sleep. Just like the others. As he moved further from where his son slept, he paused and looked back. He stood and watched them, thinking, Sons, you will be at rest before the sun's set tomorrow. Your souls will find eternal peace in God's own arms. O oh, Waheguru, we do not hesitate to die fighting injustice. As our body, soul, all belong to you, nothing is ours. He sat watching, observing, caressing his sons. Just as one would appreciating the beauty of flowers. He walked on, further caring, and treating their wounds. Comforting his sins. Buckling them in their blankets. One has never seen such heart-rendering moments. Neither has one heard 
of such soul-stirring occurrences. Oh, one can swear by the Lord, and Nanak himself. How much ever you may sing in praise of Guru Gobind, it's never enough. at their legs. Change our strategy. I gave you a million soldiers, Kwaza Mohammed, and you couldn't capture a handful of Singhs. Hm. Go right now. Go with your full strength and kill them once and for all. My lord, they are sitting at a height. Hence, we have a disadvantage. But if we attack them head on with all our soldiers, we could lose at least 20,000 men. No, no. That's too big a number. Just wait. Let me think about it. Do as I say. Station your men at least 10 meters away from the range of their arrows. Sings will have only two options to choose from them. Either they will come out of the fort to fight, and will be ripped apart by our archers before they can reach us, or they will come out with their guru to plead for mercy, begging before me. surrounded the entire fort they all know that we don't have enough foods and arms with us guru sahib has ordered that we will go out of the fort and fight them. fine with us we'll all go together attack them head on we will easily kill at least hundreds of them not hundreds no we will slay thousands but the way our guru father has commanded we will go out in groups of five to fight the Mughals fiercely they can't even imagine how lethal all of us will be for them. And I will lead the first group into battle. Every single one of you will be in my heart. Now, any four of you can get ready to come with me. We are ready! to our advantage. 
advantage and reach the enemy head on. are coming. You go and check. You go check. this cottage anybody there someone's been here before. yeah yes my lord have you seen any member of the family guru of anandpur or any of his things here a while ago one of your army units came right through here and they were asking the very same question that you are. I told him that I haven't seen any Singhs here. It might have been Bashir Khan's unit. Come then. Let's take the short pathway along the river. And we will get to them faster. Hey, Almighty. Protect them. Mataji, you should rest here for a while. What's troubling you, Fata Singh? Oh, Grandma. I miss my imperial mother so much. Well, even I miss her, brother. But Guru Mother will be with both of our brothers and Guru Father, too, right, Grandmother? Yes, my child. Hopefully. Grandma, Guru Mother is probably missing us as well. <gasps> What happened, my lady? Don't you worry now, my lady. I am sure they are safe and sound. They four cannot live without each other. Hey, Almighty, please protect them. By day, I sing G. Three units have gone out of the fort to fight, and I will take the next unit with me. And after prayers, I'll go, take Guru Father's blessing, and come back. Please wait until sing G. Hmm? You cannot step into this war. And why can't I do that? It will be a great loss for us all if you go into this battle. Do not tell me apart from the other Singhs, Baidea Singhji. Our clan does not acknowledge any such relations. I know my Guru Father too well. He would open the gates of this fort to send me to the battle himself, I tell you. He will not listen to any of us. Only Guru Saheb can stop him now.
the sword is heavy. Yes, that is why I'm going to carry Guru Father's smaller sword into battle. <laughs> Guru Sahib Ji, we put forth a plea before you. But you haven't replied to us as of yet. Guru Father, I am ready to go to battle. Ajit Singh, you cannot. My name is Ajit Singh. I will let no one win over me. But if someone does, it'll be only when I am no more. Guru Father, I am ready for battle. By sending Ajit Singh to battle, Guru Gobind Singh let everyone know that he kept no difference between his Singhs and his sons. They were all the sons of the Khalsa, and when the need arose, they could fight unto the death. De Shiva par mohe hai, shup kar mante kabho na daru, na daru aur soj ab chai ladu, nishche kar apni cheat karu.
whatever you need for the house with this. If you need any more money, you can ask me for it. Hold on to that. Mataji, all we have here is yours alone. It's really no trouble. I'll go prepare some food. Guru Sahib, the events at the Sirsa River were very unfortunate. Mataji and the little ones are nowhere to be found. Ajit Singh has been martyred, and yet you are so calm and composed. People in this world fight to survive, and your inspiration encourages Singhs to embrace martyrdom. All hopes are now on Jujar Singh to lead the Khalsa with utmost brilliance. Guru Father, I too want to go into battle like my brother. No, Jujar Singh, no. Do not say that. You are too young to go to battle. Guru Sahib, you must not allow this. I will ask Seva Singh to lead the next unit. By Dea Singh Ji, I might not know all the traits of sword fighting just yet, but I can easily slay a handful of men before I fall. Guru Father, I need your blessings. sword and stepping bravely into war your brother looked very handsome and dashing you remember and i just hope you'll come to me before guru mother i would obviously come to take your blessings before i go off to war so at least you would see how i look guru mother you're in here yes i really wanted to see you before you step into the battlefield. While I was taking the blessings from Guru Father, I was hoping that my Guru Mother would also be here with me so that I could take her blessings too before I go to battle. I hope that you aren't scared. Scared? I think I'm the one who's going to scare the Mughals today. I am so very proud of you. Today my son is going to step into the battlefield as a soldier. Mother, I see tears in your eyes. They are not tears. They are my blessings. Son! Still 
you're just a kid, you fool. And you have come here to fight us knights? I have killed many already, and I will take down at least 20 more. <laughs> Mataji, I think someone has stolen your bag of mohurs. It's not a problem, Gangu. Maybe his need for it is bigger than mine. Uh, um, but that bag had all of your valuables in it. Oh no, my child. My valuables are right here with me. But I think I will go and lodge a complaint with the Kotawal. No need, my dear. Nowadays, the people in Kotewalis are bigger thieves than burglars. Uh, 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 as you wish, Mataji. Uh. If the authority turns up, they will take away my valuables. What the Singh said is true. A clenched fist is more powerful than an open palm. The Guru definitely has some divine power in him. There's no such thing as divine power. Wars are won with courage, I tell you. Ask Wazir Khan to send his sons to a battlefield. There's no movement in the Mughal army, my lord. Guru Sahib has decided that he too will step onto the battlefield tomorrow. No, Sangat Singh, we cannot let this happen. We have to stop him from doing so at any cost, agreed? Guru Sahib first baptized the five Singhs and established the Khalsa? Right. So that means the five chosen ones represent the Khalsa, right? Yes, of course. That's great. So we should go to Guru Sahib and tell him that mm -hmm. if you are there, the Khalsa clan will be. And for us Singhs, the Khalsa clan is everything. Mm -hmm. Khalsa is Guru. 
and the Guru is cause for us. Mm -hmm. Guru Sabji, when you baptized the Chosen Five, you gave them the authority that if and when the need arises for a decision in the matter of the path, the decision of the Chosen Five will be supreme. So we, the Chosen Five, keeping in mind your democratic principles, in the supreme interest of the Panth, ask that you leave here right now, that you leave the mud fort. Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Gobind Singh made one of his Singhs wear his clothes, and he himself, dressed in a common man's attire, left the fort. With him were Bai Daya Singh, Bai Dharam Singh, and Bai Maan Singh. But before leaving, he announced his departure, clapped aloud thrice, and said, Fear of Hind is leaving. Stop him if you have the courage to. After hearing these words, the Mughals were flustered, a dust storm started to blow. No one could see anything. It was pitch black. Who is it? Who is there? Did you hear it? Did you? I can't see anything. I can't even hear properly. It was a dark night that day. No one got to know what happened. I think I heard it clearly. I will go tell the commander about this. The next day, a fierce battle took place in Champur. When the Singh who wore the Guru's clothes was killed, the commander thought he had killed the Guru himself. Wazir Khan was dancing with joy. Uh, you complete morons! This is not the Guru, this is somebody else. Go and search for him in the entire fort. My lord, there is no one else in the fort except for the Guru's blue horse and four Arab horses. Well, this means that he has again escaped quietly in the night before we could reach him. Please forgive me, my lord, but the Guru said aloud when he left. I clearly heard him saying, Fear of Hind is leaving. Fear of Hind is leaving. Stop him if you have the courage to. Then... I told the commander the moment I heard him. Why didn't you come to me? Now you go and search for him right now, in the entire area. And I want him either dead or alive. I'll make him my slave and force him to wear the Turkish turban. Ah! Soldiers, what are you waiting for? Kill the Guru's eagle! He has disrespected you. We won't mm -hmm. leave him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here you go, children. Your milk. Grandmother, has Gangu come back after giving our message to Brother Ajit Singh? You are just like your grandfather. You never forget a thing. Grandmother, today I met Grandpa in my dream. Your Grandpa? Yes, he lives in Chadni Chowk in Delhi. He's made a huge palace of his own there. Yes, and the color of the palace is white. Yes, yes, it's pure white. Tell me something. How did you both see the exact same dream? Fata Singh is very naughty. Grandma, he must have peeked into my dream secretly. But I told you about the dream first. He must have secretly watched my dream. Then tell me, who else was there? Brother Ajit and Brother Jujhar were there, too. He is correct, Grandmother. Brother Ajit and Brother Jujhar were in that palace. Brother Jujhar has left the Gatka fight. He now learns how to fight with a sword. Yes, Grandmother. And Brother Ajit told me that some of the walls of Sir Hind are very old, I mean ancient. Even before Babur's time, so we should play carefully over there. Make sure that no wall falls on you. Please don't. Don't say all this, my child. You should not speak such words. It's wrong, my dears. Hey, Almighty. Protect us all. 
Sir, Guru Gobind Singh's mother and his two youngest sons are living at my place. <laughs> Even with a million men, Wazir Khan could not catch the Guru. And he thinks he's done a great job by catching his mother and his two kids and showcasing them in public. <laughs> Tortures the women and children is a monster and not a warrior. And he's the one making us do this dirty job. It would have been so much better had he called us to find the guru in Chamkor. think you're going to the next village to meet somebody there <laughs> what is your name Bago baby Bago have any of you seen the guru of Anandpur yes I see him day and night I saw him just now where he's easy to see just close your eyes and you will see him as well hey Sikni do you see this sword in my hand if you know something tell us we have an order to arrest him. Start with smaller steps, soldier. You can start leaping later. What do you mean by that? I challenge you to try and catch me first. Then you can think of catching my guru. inside your holes you filthy rats we women have given birth to a lot of lions and we can ourselves take up the job of fighting the enemy if you have any shame left at all go and die as you seem fit or else go back to your loving guru and ask forgiveness the 40 of us have made an unforgivable mistake साहिब मेरा नीत नमा सदा सदा दातार मेरा दातार तो बक्षनहार है माय लेडी प्लीज टेक अस टू द एवर सो फॉरगिविंग गुरु वी लेफ्ट बिहाइंड आई विल टेक यू आई विल मेक यू मीट हिम व्हेन आई क्लोज माय आईज एंड कंसंट्रेट देन आई कैन सी माय गुरु राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय आईज व्हेन एवर आई चूज टू वी विल मीट हिम अगेन इट विल बी वेरी सून
Sahib was. They thanked the Lord, and when they saw his wounded feet and his torn robe, their smiles disappeared. Speak, my Lord. Where should we keep the kids and mother of the Guru? Do you think these are some royal guests from Delhi who we should cater to? Now go and throw them into the cold tower we have. Forgive me, my Lord. But the cold burrs is a place where the bravest and toughest of men turn blue, due to the freezing air, of course. I don't think you heard what I said. The things say they are hot-blooded. And if that is indeed the case, then they should not feel the cold there. Oh, yes, and they are the heirs of Hindapir. They have absolutely everything. You will show no mercy on them. Give them nothing at all, you hear me? No bed to sleep in, no water, and not even a piece of bread. You being the mother of our guru father, yet you look worried. Look at us. Remember, we are his children, and we do not fear anything. And only you were the one to teach us that whatever Waheguru does, we should accept with a smile. Fata Singh, come let's remind Grandma of her own words. Mm. Everything, Everything that the Almighty, Almighty does is good for us. Nothing, nothing at all ever happens without his command. Mm. And if ever something unfortunate happens, there is always some good behind it. But we don't understand it, and we tend to overlook it. Hence, we feel saddened. If you remember each and every word that I have taught you, my little ones, I shall never ever forget that you are my son's children, and that I am his mother. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir Mirza, uh, I wanted a small favor from you. And I shall... I'll give you anything you wish for this. If you're ready to give anything, Mati, then I am ready to listen to anything that you say. Uh, Sir Mirza, I want to go and give uh, some milk to... to Guru's mother and his kids. Okay, give me the real cream, and you, Mati, can take the milk. Um... Uh... Hey, Marthy, stop there. This cream will not churn out any butter. Go back now. My lord, this is all I can offer. But tomorrow, I'll get all the jewelry for my wife, I promise. Better get your wife's jewelry. Uh -huh. But that would be counted in today's account. Uh -huh. So what will you do about tomorrow? I will arrange for something. Get that jewelry tomorrow for sure. Now go. Oh, Almighty. Thank you for letting me serve Guru's mother and his kids. 
Mataji, I've got some milk for you and the kids. Please, accept Morty's humble service. Marty, I hope that by doing this, you are not putting yourself in some kind of danger. Oh, come on, Mataji. I am very honored that I've got the chance to serve you. Promise me that as long as you're here, that you will allow me to serve you daily. I'll take your leave. Okay, thank you. Marty. Do you have any information about my son, Gobind? What wouldn't he know? He keeps information about everything. How would a layman like me know anything about his whereabouts? All I had heard was... A fierce battle was fought in Chamkur. Who won, who lost? I've no news. Mataji, there is one thing I didn't understand. What's that? On the one hand, Wazir Khan's soldiers are hunting all over for Guru Saeb. They're doing everything in their power to find him and slay him to his death. And on the other hand, two Muslim brothers from the same area felt honored by taking him to their house and caring for him. They are good souls for sure. There are many more such people. And many such believe in Guru Sahib's teachings, I tell you. Hundreds of them are in his army and a lot of them are even commanders too. Guru Saheb is not against any Muslim or Islam, no, not at all. He only opposes the king and his men who are forcing people to convert into their religion and are looting the wealth of those who stand up against them, don't you see? Guru Saheb's fight with Aurangzeb and his governor Wazir Khan is not a fight between Sikhs and Muslims, but instead is the fight between good and evil, which will always be there. By preaching about good and evil, you have enlightened the souls of so many Sings here. The Khalsa will always be grateful to you for this, rest assured. I'm just an insignificant soldier of my Guru. My focus is on his command and his command alone. The only thing he has to do is instruct me, and I will pounce on the enemy like a lioness. Khan Saheb, arresting old women and children is against our principles. Did they come to Syria and rebel against you? What sin have they committed? Their sin is that they are the mother and children of Gobin the rebel. He has created chaos. Chaos in this province that I command. And I have now captured his family so that I can barter his arrest. Be careful. Let no harm come to his family, in any way at all, hmm? If any harm does come to them, then unfortunately, we will be forced to complain about you to Delhi. Hmm. Kazi Saheb, do something. Issue their death sentence and let's be over with it. But I need a valid reason to do so. Their father is a rebel, not the children. That I issue their death warrant and hand it over to you. But I cannot let this chance go. I won't allow it. There is one way out, where you won't need to get their warrant, and I wouldn't need to issue one. Huh? You will be able to get what you want. Revenge on Gobind. How is that? If we can make the children agree to convert to our religion, then that's revenge. Yes. If his own children accept our religion, then this would be a shameful defeat for the brave Guru. And make no mistake about that. No mistake at all. But why can't I go along with the kids? Now don't be stubborn, old lady. 
I'm only doing what I am ordered to. Come on now. What are you waiting over there for? Take the kids with you and move. My lord, it has been planned. Mm. Yes, my lord, just the way you wanted. It will happen as you wished. I have closed the big gate and opened the smaller one. Hmm. The soldiers are getting the children here. Our soldiers will bow their heads in order to enter. The children will see them and follow suit. The children of the Guru of Sikhs shall bow down to the great and mighty Nawab, Wazir Khan. <laughs> What did the children say? Everyone salutes the Lord with a salam here. These kids have made a terrible mistake. This is the court of the governor of Sirhin Wazir Khan. No one can come here and speak in praise of any guru here. Huh. Come on, little ones. Apologize to the Nawab. Hmm. Bow your heads and salute to him, saying, Salam, Khan Saheb. We believe in the Almighty God. We only bow down to his greatness. He who lives inside all of us, every single one of us. And apart from him, we don't bow down to anybody. You, Kafir non-believer. Kafir is the one who forces others to change their religion. Kafir is the one who misuses his power to do wrong. The one who is honest is a real Muslim. One who is cunning? A cheater is a Kafir. You have smartly and indirectly termed us as cheaters. You will now teach all of us about our own religion. We only know of our Sikh religion, Kazi said. And it does not believe at all in slavery. This is what our Guru Father has always taught us. Well, children, I have sent hundreds and hundreds of soldiers. I have sent them in all directions to capture your father. Just as the rays of sun cannot be captured, there is not a soldier born yet on this earth who can capture our Guru Father. <clears throat> he has such a radiance around him that everyone who looks upon him bows and salutes him. Hmm? The day you will be face to face with him. You will do the same thing. You will bow down and salute them. What happened, Kansai? Seems like you just saw our Guru Father. Quiet! that you will get everything you want, everything your heart desires. And where would you go now, anyway? Maybe you don't know, but Anandpur is in ruin, and we will soon be arresting your father. And you should know that your elder brothers Ajit and Jujhar have been killed in the battle at Chamkur. How can we believe you? Your intentions seem very foul to us, Pansai. We have committed no crime yet, yet you have us in your custody. Khan Sahib has advised correctly. You should accept his religion. Or else you too will die, like your brothers. The first thing we are taught in our religion is how to overcome the fear of death. Oh, dear children, talk about life and not about death. We would give you everything you ever wanted. We would give you 
a gorgeous palace to live in. You would have all the luxuries that a prince would have. If I'm forgetting something, you can remind me. Don't hesitate to request anything, eh? Sure, I will. Mm. Let me remind you now what my late grandfather, Guru Teg Bahadur, had said once to the Kashmiri pundits who were also being forced to convert their religion. I can tell this story to you all. My grandfather said, tell those ruthless rulers, make the guru convert his religion first. And if he agrees to convert, then you all would also convert into their religion willingly. Yes, I remember. Yes, so what? So tell me, whose grandfather gave his own life to save someone else's religion? And you are asking his grandchildren to convert to your religion? Think again. Think again. Maybe, Maybe you, you are, are making, making a, mistake a mistake somewhere. somewhere. Your grandfather's widow, I mean, your grandmother is still alive. I think it's best that you go and discuss this with her. You only have time till tomorrow. Wahe Guruji ka Khalsa. Wahe Guruji ki Fateh. The kids dumbfounded everyone here. These are no normal kids. Kids. I don't think they're going to accept. I will make them accept it. Khan Saeb, do not forget. You have to seek the approval of the council before you take any action against them. Hmm. 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 Khan Saeb, do appreciate my brainwave. Mm hmm? Call for the Nawab of Mother Kotla and ask him to come to the court tomorrow. He lost his brother, Kajar Khan, in battle with the Singhs in Ropar, and if that's not enough, his second brother, Nihar Khan, was killed as well by the Guru, by the Guru himself in Shamkur. Why didn't I think of this earlier? He will be more than happy to do this task. Hello, dear. Have you put the milk in the container for Mataji and the children? Slightly overcooking the milk today. I put some dates and cardamom in it. So tell me, have you picked the jewelry from the ledge? Mm hmm What happened? Why are you so quiet? Mirza will account this jewelry for yesterday's bribe. What do I give him today? You can give him this house. We could even go to a temple and stay there. But for God's sake, make sure there isn't any hitch in this service of milk. My child, Moti, seeing your affection towards the children, I would pray to God that he truly rewards you for this service of yours. Oh, Mataji, it is your blessings and wishes that I need today. These will go with me a long way. I'll take your leave now. God bless you. Thank you. So, children, you never told me what exactly happened at the court today. Nothing much, Grandmother. We remember the sacrifice our grandfather made, but they had forgotten it, so we reminded them of it. Grandma, they were trying to scare us. They asked us to choose between death or their religion. To try and scare us further. They even said that both our brothers have been killed in the battle at Chunkur. A fierce battle was fought in Chunkur. Who won, who lost? I have no news. Grandmother? Uh, 
Yes, my children. You are very right. They were just blabbering on and on. Pay no heed to it. We will be meeting them very, very soon. Today, we have Nawab Malar Kotla, Janab Sher Muhammad Khan, present in the court. Who's not just one brother, but two brothers, were brutally killed by their father Guru Gobind Singh himself. Do you know why your father brutally killed Nawab's brothers? They must have made a mistake. <laughs> well, his brothers, we mean. You horrible little brats. You have no manners. You are the powerful governor, yet so cunning and mean. Shameless here in court. Rudeness can be punished with death. Death is acceptable, but we won't back down. Don't you fear death at all, little ones? Don't you fear God at all? Now watch what you say, fearless. Yes, fearless we live, and fearless we die. Because we are the Guru Sings. <laughs> Sing. Yes. The one who does what is right is a sing. The one who takes away sadness and brings happiness to others is a sing. The one who becomes the strength of the weak is a sing. The one who's ready to sacrifice his life fighting for justice is a sing. Oh, you sings. His brothers were also fighting for justice. When your father killed them in the battle, I'll have you know. In battle, right? That isn't getting killed. It's known as sacrifice. And by not calling it so, you're insulting the souls of the martyrs of which you speak. Manipulation of words and phrases is not going to cover up your father's crimes. You will be punished for his deeds, punished severely, I say. And how shall be decided by now out here, the loyal Maler Kotla. On whose mercy you are now? Let the court know, Nawab Sahib, what punishment you will give to your culprits. I want to take revenge on Gobin Singh for killing my brothers, and that I shall definitely do. But in the battlefield, they are not my culprits. Revenge has never taken on women and children. I have a request. We should free the mother. And the kids of Gobin Singh too. That is what I request. Nawab Sahib, today you have proven that a real honest man is a Muslim in its true sense. I too believe in justice, my friends, as requested by the Nawab, and sensing the will of the public, I will too free them both, of course. But I want to ask them one thing. What will they do when they are free? We would do the same thing that our Guru Father is doing. And what the next generations of Singhs would do as well. What is that? We would fight cruelty and injustice to our last breath. And how? We would regroup all the Singhs of our Guru Father and build an army again. Did you hear? Did you all hear this? The rebellious plan? They want to do the same thing that their rebel father is doing against us. Do you understand that? So now tell me, wise members of the council sitting here, what do you have to say to these children who are eager to rebel against our empire? Khan Sahib, I think everyone has to say just one thing now. Sons of a snake will always be snakes. Sujanan, hold your tongue there. He is a friend of the weak. Known for his noble deeds, bow down in respect to him. Guru Gobind Singh is his name. You are lucky that we are your prisoners. Otherwise, I swear by the Almighty that your body would have definitely lost its head by now. That's it. I do not want to listen anymore. Children of the rebellious Gobind, you had better accept our religion now, or be ready for a very brutal execution. Mm. Ghazi Sahib, the sentence. 
The sentence fatwa is ready, my lord. Go right now and bury them alive in a wall for their insolence. This is it. Stop right here. Come with us. Sakazi has issued a warrant. Tomorrow, both the kids will be buried in the wall alive. I heard it from Wazir Khan himself. Well, maybe they did not understand the sentence. This is yet another new way to kill a prisoner. Did you hear what's going to happen then? Yes, yes. The kids have been tricked into this. My friend, this is a sin. It's a mistake. God will never forgive them. God save Sarant. No upside. No worker is ready to bury the kids into the wall tomorrow. But there are two men in our jail that speak differently. Shashanbeg and Bashanbeg, who are willing to do so. There is a condition. However, it's only if we free them afterwards. Go. Tell them they shall be freed. Surely, my lord. I will surely do that. Grandmother, we've said all our prayers. Moti also came and gave us our milk for the day. But you never asked us what happened at the court today. Children, unjust allegations and stupid questions. Whatever happened today, we are really very happy about it, Grandmother. You are happy? What is it that makes you happy? We are happy that we have not let you down, Grandmother. We are happy that we have kept the divine dignity that our father and grandfather have installed within us. We're happy that we didn't change our religion under the pressure of those monsters. We remembered what you have taught us and what you have preached. Oh, I am really very proud of you. The sentence issued by Kazi says we would be buried alive on the wall, Grandmother. So what? You will be buried alive in the wall. They will not kill you. Yes, yes grandmother. grandmother. They, they won't, won't kill, kill us. us. We too have children. I don't want that. After the execution tomorrow, the father of my children should be called as the murderer, the murderer of the innocent. You want me to show mercy for his children? Are you serious? The one who has made our lives completely miserable. I cannot do anything. Kazi has already issued the sentence. Even so, the sentence can also be changed. I know that for sure. And how it can be changed, you know that very well. Behave yourself, Begum. I am not going to show any mercy on his children. I would not want that. The whole of the Mughal Empire calls me the one who got scared of the Sikh Guru. The sentence is done and over with. Nothing can be done now to stop this.
Amata, get the children ready soon. We will come back to take them. The sentence has to be executed. to give away your lives, children. You still have a choice, you know. Yes, and you also have a chance, Kazi Saib. Cancel the sentence. Otherwise, the blood that flows out of our bodies shall spiral events that will surprise you. What surprises? Do you think there will be palaces built here after you die? Executioners! You may start to bury them in the wall right now. Although you 
came to this world before I did, it seems that I'm gonna meet our grandpa before him now. Still change your mind. them both out of there. I can't believe it. These two are still alive, Kansai. We have laid our lives to save those of others. We have laid the foundation for the Khalsa to carry on the fight for justice. 